Well, good morning, Dirtfish Rally friends. It's the one we've all been waiting for. It's the Acropolis Rally. That is Terry Newville. Let's move out of his way. He's going that way. Terry Newville heading back out to Shakedown. Now, look at this weather. Look at this weather. It's so un Acropolis like. It's been raining pretty much solid for two days. And you could see on Newville's car as he left service there, really muddy in the shakedown stage. But let's take you into the service park. We'll have a little look at, uh, well, you know, a double URC service park. It's been a while since we saw crowds in service parks. Okay, Estonia was great. They had an area there. There will be some crowds in here, uh, but not this morning, not this morning. So here we go. This is the Hyundai team on the right-hand side here. Normally, Hyundai's unit, it would be three times the size of this, but with obviously the current problems, there's no partners, there's no guests, there's no family allowed. So really they don't need the massive infrastructure that they normally have. This is their flyaway unit that they would normally take on long haul events. So, Danny Sordo, back in the Hyundai for this event. He's got a lot to live up to. Craig Breen has been the super sub this year. I caught up with Danny Sordo out on the recce yesterday. This is what he had to say. Danny, always great to see you back out on events, but this one is going to look a little different with all this rain. Yeah, it's amazing how, how different it looks like uh... First day of Reiki was really nice, really nice conditions and all. But now it's, uh, it's really muddy in the places, uh, it's all the time raining and it look, looks like we are not in Greece, like we are in Wales. So it's very, very slippery and I have, I'm not sure they will try for the rally, but let's see. Always great to see Sordo back in the car. What's his deal for next year? That is the question a lot of people are asking and we will answer for you at some point in the not too distant future. Oit Tanak, you know, another driver who really needs a bit of a change of luck, doesn't he? It's been a... Well, do you know what? He's not made many mistakes this year, Tanak, but he's had an awful lot of bad luck. He's had reliability issues and a few things that were just beyond his control. This could be Tanak's event. Tanak, not a bad starting position on Friday. We've got rain here, but where Friday's stages are, it's been more or less dry and road cleaning will become an issue. So Tanak may well be able to benefit from that. I caught up with Tanak very briefly, I'd have to say, once again, out on the recce. What do you make of the Acropolis Rally? Is it a rally that you've enjoyed in the past? I haven't been here for 10 years, so it's been uh, quite a long time, but definitely it's, uh, it's a nice to be back here. Some stages are really nice and, and uh, it's more smooth than we used to have in, in the past. So uh, this way, I think, yeah, it can be good fun. It does look on Friday in particular as if they've done a lot of work on those stages. Are you concerned about how they might cut up perhaps? Has that work been well done, do you think? Um, let's see, for sure underneath it's still the grease, but uh, I mean generally all the stages are, are uh, just a single pass, so not so many repeated stages and like this they should uh, last quite well. Now the man with momentum in the championship after a fantastic result in Ypres. Terry Neuville, he came very close, didn't he, to winning Safari. What a difference that would have made to his championship year. He won in Ypres. What can he do here? Well, I tell you what, he can win. Yes, he's got a bit of a, a difficult position on the road, but it's not going to be all about pace this weekend. It's going to be a little bit about managing the event. A bit like Safari, particularly on Friday morning. For me, the stages to look out for are the opening three stages on Friday. They will be very, very rough indeed. If Neuville can manage his way through those stages, I think he's got a real chance. There's the boss, Andrea Adamo. Always good to see him, always good to hear from him. Uh, I'm not sure we can get a quick word with Andrea, but we will catch up with him over the weekend. Good to see you, boss. You're looking very well. Isn't he looking healthy? Look, he's got a nice suntan, nicely slimmed down. He's looking very, very healthy indeed. He always looks healthy. Andrea Adamo, good to see him. Let's move around. Come this way, guys, cameraman. Should we get a little jog on? Should we get a little jog on, guys? We've, we've got 10 minutes. We've got 10 minutes on this one. Can't be any longer. Come on, got to keep running, got to keep running. Red, grey team. Now, this is obviously uh, Marco Martin's team. They run the rally two cars for, uh, for Hyundai. What a fantastic looking new service area. This is first time I've seen this one. Looks really good. Lambros Athanasoulis. Have a look on our YouTube channel. I caught up with Lambros at his test. You can see that little video in that interview on our YouTube channel. Oliver Solberg, his teammate this weekend. There's also a video of Oliver from the test. Check those out, YouTube. Uh, Dirtfish Rally, check it out, really worth seeing. Let's go, Gary, come on. Hello, lovely people. 
Where's all your customers? Where's all your customers? Yeah, every time. Yes, I'll come and talk to you later. Ooh, what does he want to talk to me about, guys? What do you reckon? What do you reckon, guys? Who knows what he wants to talk to me about? Here we go. Hi, now Toyota. Team, we said that Nouvelle is the driver with momentum. Toyota very much the team with momentum, obviously. Uh, you're the man who is leading the way this year and looks as if he's odds on favourite just now. And is he favourite for this event? Probably not. Sebastian Auger, first on the road on Friday. Auger is the man that, as we know, can manage events better than anyone. This event could be about management. So, even although he is first on the road, well, you'd never write him off, would you? You'd never write him off. This is what Auger had to say to me earlier in the week. I always love this country as well. Uh, it's uh, it's really beautiful there. You have like uh, nice food, nice stage. It's a bit rough sometimes, but I think it's maybe not that rough as it used to be. Uh, uh, still, still, it's a challenging event. I would say new for everybody now because yeah, I might have done it uh, the last time eight years ago. I think a lot of things have changed since then. So I think we are all starting with with new pace node anyway, and uh, and yeah, it's going to be an interesting weekend. It's rally number nine this season. I think it's seven times that I'm gonna have a, to surf for opening the road. So it's it's tough leading championship in WRC, and uh, I cannot say I enjoyed it that much. But I have learned to to deal with it and uh, and accept that sometimes I cannot fight for victory. So uh, let's see what we can do this weekend. Uh, we've won some rally this year, which was unexpected uh, regarding a road position. So we never know. Yeah, Ogier does have very much. A little bit of a margin here. He absolutely doesn't have to win. He doesn't have to push from these opening three stages that we know are the difficult stages. There is jeopardy in the opening three stages. The man who will have to go for the win here, if he has any title aspirations at all, with what three events to go, is Elvin Evans. He has to win. He absolutely has to win. He has to narrow that gap between himself and Ogier. That is a tough task here. If you're going flat out from the opening stage, there's every chance you could come a cropper. But Evans is a clever driver. He's an experienced driver. He's a driver who doesn't get carried away. He can control his emotions. He understands how important it is to win this event, but he also understands how important it is to do a job for this team, for Toyota Gazoo Racing. So he won't throw everything away. If he's not comfortable Friday morning, you won't see anything silly from him. So we've had a look at our two main teams this weekend, and it really is your battle of Toyota and Hyundai it has been all year for the manufacturers and really for the win in each rally. But M Sport always have a chance. There's Martin Prokop. Always great to see Martin Prokop out again in the Fiesta Rally 2 car. One of the most colourful cars, the most colourful teams. You can't miss these boys, can you? With their wonderful livery. Come this way. Come this way. I'm going to walk backwards now. Just shout if I hit anything, guys. What about this? What about this, guys? He impressed? No, he's not impressed, is he? He's not impressed. I'm quite impressed, though. Oh, watch it. Yeah. Always, always watch it when I'm around. Always, always, always. M Sport now. If there is a team that has history and heritage on the Acropolis Rally, it's these guys. It really is these guys. They have the ability to build a car that can absolutely work in these tough, rough, demanding conditions. I'm not saying they're going to win, but it wouldn't surprise me at all to see either Formo or Greensmith on the podium this weekend. Let's wait and see. Let's wait and see. Guys, that is our brief tour of the Acropolis Rally at Service Park. Stick with us at dirtfish.com throughout the weekend for lots of behind the scenes videos and all the action as it unfolds.